first October bombing, and then we read in the papers that you are uh, you your lawyers attempted to see uh, Charles Orca and the four other cop, uh, suspects that were taken to court. What is bringing you close to this trial? That crime that was committed on the first of October was I, I, gruesome. I condemn people who take lives in the course of a struggle. I rather stake my life instead of take a life. So I condemn what happened on October 1. But in this case, it appears that the security agencies in Nigeria, they don't know what they are doing. There have been all kinds of catalog of mistakes on their part since this investigation began. So much so that it begins to, it begins to uh, appear that they are not sure of who they are holding, who they should hold. They are not sure of who are the real culprits in this matter. And if we all keep quiet, it would appear that we may, we may unwittingly support the persecution of innocent people over this matter. The, the catalog of mistakes, I'm sure you have seen them yourselves. Mm. They rushed to the press initially to tell the world that Doc Percy was involved. They, in fact, published text messages on national television that people exchanged between themselves, only to find out at the end of the day that those monies that they were asking, whether they have collected from Doc Percy or not, were just rents, money that they were supposed to use to pay for Babangida's campaign office in Bayelsa State. So you're concerned they could be making the same mistake in the case? Right? Absolutely, because if they have the confidence to publish the evidence they had against Dr. Percy, then they should have the same confidence to publish the evidence they have against the smaller smaller elements, as it were, that they are holding now. That is what I, I, I find extremely, extremely wrong. You cannot release Dr. Percy on bail, have one law for Dr. Percy, and then you have a separate law for people who are not connected to Babangida or big men. You keep them in detention. Those who don't have godfathers or who don't have godmothers. Is it right for it lawyers is, not to, sorry, to, to have access to clients? It is completely against the rule of law. It is completely, a, it is one of the, the worst abuse of human rights to arrest somebody, detain somebody for a capital offense and don't even have, allow him access to his counsel. So I think the security forces in Nigeria, they have messed up this whole trial. And that is why when you know, uh, uh, Charles Oka and his people got in touch with me, you know, a couple of days ago to help out in this issue. I had no qualms at all in, you know, in assuring them I was going to help. Even out. with the fact that you are, uh, you once stood for Asari Dokubo, and Asari Dokubo is the uh, sworn enemy of uh, Henry Oka. No, this is a breach of fundamental rights. You know, when there's a breach of fundamental rights involved, uh, normally we must put aside personal differences. Once there's breach of fundamental rights involved, because it may be one person today, it may be another person tomorrow. That is what I stand for. That is what I stand for. And uh, I have always tried as much as possible to close ranks between, you know, um, those within our ranks. I have tried to close ranks. In the dynamics of the struggle, it's important that internal conflicts are, uh, you know, kept, uh, you know, as low as possible. And, and not to apportion blames in, 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 in such such occasions. And then you've been very critical of uh, former EFCC chairman Nuri Ribadu. Now you are counsel to uh, EFCC under Farida Waziri. Uh, Farida does not seem to be outperforming Ribadu. Would you agree with that? No, person? I'm not comparing anybody in this um, regard. It's only that those who are very myopic, they think that it's, they are doing their jobs by their strengths. Whether it is Ribadu or Farida, I can assure you that all of them are taking instructions from the president. You cannot operate as the head of any anti-corruption agency in Nigeria with the way the laws are structured now without taking instructions from the presidency. I'm sorry to say, but that is the honest truth. So whatever you perceive that Ribadu did, they were just the bidding of his master, Obasanjo. I can assure you. And I can assure you also that even though Farida Warizel is trying her best, but there are instances also when issues are political, that she will have to also read the body language of the president on such issues. So, let us be very honest with ourselves. We cannot fight corruption in Nigeria, devoid of politics, until we insulate the appointment and removal of the head of those agencies from political control. Now, you're from the Niger Delta, yes. uh, from the South-South, so to say. Uh, I assume you'll be supporting Good Luck Jonathan. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um, it would be wrong of us to reduce governance to ethnic uh, affiliations, to ethnic sentiments, concerning our relationships, it would be wrong. Uh, we must uh, look at the programs of all the candidates. We must look for the, the government, the, the person that has the best program for Nigeria, and who has the best track record, who has the best ability to support, to deliver on his promises and support that person. Uh, it, it cannot be automatic. It may be Jonathan. It may be Buhari, it may be anybody, but who has the best and who has the best ability to deliver? That is what I think should be the yardstick that we should then um, take to support uh, anybody who is uh, contesting for presidency. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was uh, told that um, you wrote an article recently or you made a statement praising uh, Bola Tinumbu, the governor of Lagos State. Yes, I, I during that the after the, the executive victory, I commended uh, the judiciary. I commended uh, uh, Kayo De Fayemi for standing really uh, up to his um, his political rights. But I also thought, despite my misgivings about um, uh, the tenure of Tinubu in Lagos State and uh, my reservations about him up till now, you had quite a think, tough period yes, when, yes, he when he was in government. Absolutely. Remember, I also took him to the Supreme Court yes. over a certificate issue. But in, like I said, in in this struggle. If you remember what I said earlier, in this struggle, the struggle of the radicals and the struggle of the progressives to also take over government, we must be very honest about encouraging ourselves. Because between the two devils, I would prefer a bad progressive than a good conservative. So long as the progressives can still take over power. And that's why I said, look, it is important that we also recognize the role Tinubu has played. Mm in trying to roll back the West. Because when the tsunami happened in 2003, and it stopped short of taking over Lagos, Lagos was the only state left, it would have been very easy for Tinubu to cross over to the PDP. Just like we have seen so many governors. So many, even many governors that were not standing alone in terms of their party. We have seen the AMPP governors of Bauchi back to the PDP. We have seen uh, someone like Ohakim who crossed to PPA in Igbo State back to PDP. So this 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 lack of the strength of character to stay in opposition and then hold on to your principle is lacking in politicians. It's so easy for them to capitulate and go back to the ruling party because they can they don't have the strength of character to fight the ruling party. It is in that context, I repeat, mm -hmm. it is only in that context we must commend Tinubu for standing his ground and then helping to begin to roll back the Western states back to the hands of the PDP, back to the hands of the progressives. And finally, if there are cases of corruption against him, you won't be... No, 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 we must bring everybody to book. Like I said, I still have my reservations. Let me make it clear mm -hmm. about his tenure in Lagos State, about how he runs Lagos State, and about his transparency. I have my reservations about that. First of all, thank you for speaking to us. God bless you.